In a kingdom, there was a king, a man with a single leg and a single eye. Yet his spirit was full of generosity and competence. He ruled with a heart full of kindness, his physical differences never affecting his ruling prowess. His palace was adorned with portraits of his ancestors, stately figures that stared down from the grand hallways with a silent, commanding presence. He too wished to be immortalized in a similar fashion, to have his own portrait that would one day hang beside those of his forefathers. However, uncertainty clouded his wish. The king was well aware of his physical differences, his single leg and single eye. He wondered how might an artist capture his spirit, his essence, without highlighting these differences. The king's desire for a portrait was no ordinary request. It was a challenge to all the artists of the kingdom. A royal invitation was sent to all corners of the kingdom, summoning the finest painters. It was no ordinary invitation, it was a challenge, a test of skill and creativity. The king's request for a portrait that showcased his majesty while discreetly hiding his physical conditions caused a stir among the artists. Whispers of hesitation and confusion filled the air. How could they paint the king in all his glory while also concealing his one leg and one eye? The task seemed impossible, even for the most seasoned artists. Their brushes trembled, their canvases remained blank, as they grappled with the complexities of the task. Yet, in the crowd of uncertain faces, there was one that stood out. A young painter, not as experienced as the others, but brimming with confidence and determination. He stepped forward, his eyes gleaming with resolve. I will paint the king, he declared. And so, in the midst of uncertainty, a young painter stepped forward, confident and motivated. The young painter, with a spark in his eyes, promised to create a beautiful portrait of the king. His assurance filled the court with a sense of hope. This was not an ordinary painter, but a young artist with an extraordinary vision. He saw beyond the surface, beyond the king's physical differences. He saw a leader, a warrior, a man of strength and resilience. He did not merely aim to paint the king's physical appearance. His intention was to capture the spirit of the king, his essence, and his indomitable will. He planned to illustrate the king's courage, his determination, and his benevolence. He aimed to portray the king as the valiant ruler he truly was, not defined by his physical attributes, but by his noble qualities and deeds. His promise infused a sense of excitement in the court. The anticipation was palpable. Everyone wondered, could this young artist succeed where others had failed? With a hint of apprehension, the court awaited the young painter's creation. The court buzzed with anticipation as the young painter unveiled the portrait. The room fell into a hushed silence as the canvas revealed a striking image of the king. There he was, majestically seated on a horse, his one leg visible and strong, a symbol of his unwavering resolve. His hand held a bow, steady and sure, a testament to his unyielding leadership. One eye was closed as if aiming an arrow, a subtle nod to the king's strategic foresight. The painter had skillfully captured the essence of the king, showcasing his strengths rather than his physical differences. The painter's strokes, bold and confident, echoed the king's own spirit. The colors, vibrant and warm, reflected the king's generous nature. The portrait was not just a painting, it was a story, a story of resilience, courage and determination. The court erupted into applause, the king's smile reflecting the brilliance of the young painter's work. The portrait was not just a painting, it was a testament to the young painter's perspective. Let's take a moment to reflect on this tale of the one-eyed, one-legged king and his desire for a portrait. It's a rich parable that reminds us of the power of perception and the importance of focusing on the positive aspects of individuals rather than their limitations. The young painter saw beyond the king's physical imperfections and instead chose to highlight his strength, courage, and leadership. He painted a picture that captured not the king's disabilities, but his abilities. He did not ignore the king's flaws, but chose to present them in a manner that spoke of valor and resilience. This story teaches us to appreciate and value the unique qualities in others, rather than harp on their imperfections. It reminds us to look for the potential, the strength, the beauty in every individual. And so we learn, it's not about the flaws we see, but the beauty we choose to focus on.